so greetings and um, sensitive or aware of, of uh, greeting people from all over the world, different time zones. And so saying good morning for here in California doesn't quite work. And um, But uh, so maybe something like good now would work better. So anyway, nice to be here with you all and, and to have this few, mi- few minutes together. As a preparation for the meditation today and also the theme uh, of a right livelihood for the little Dharma talk, I would like to um, uh, highlight that um, meditation in- can in- involves two complementary activities. One is uh, involving awareness and one is uh, to be aware receptively and the other is to be aware givingly. uh, To bring and give attention to something, so applying attention, but also to have attention receive, receive what's happening. And at different times no, we we end up on different sides of that distinction, and uh, and eventually, when meditation gets deep, uh, then uh, the distinction falls away, and uh, awareness is neither um, active or applied, nor receptive. It just is, and there's a feeling that of just that things arise, just exist in awareness without. We are awareness being particularly receptive or active or applied. When the mind is uh, filled with thoughts and ideas, uh, and we're pulled away from the present moment, then uh, sometimes we can choose one or the other of those. Sometimes being applying ourselves and uh, applying attention and placing attention and rooting attention and and um, uh, using attention to probe or investigate and uh, really get anchored or rooted in some place uh, is really uh, helps us to not drift off into thought. And sometimes what's most helpful is to just be receptive, especially when any kind of uh, effort that seems like it's self-effort, like we're trying to do something, gets entangled or caught up in all the complicated ways in which uh, we think of ourselves or think of ourselves as the agent and the person is supposed to accomplish and do something. And it can be much more relaxing sometimes just to be receptive and to receive. Uh, whether we're being active or receptive in meditation, the in both circumstances, the idea is to do so without greed, hatred, or delusion without, you know, desperately wanting something or straining to get something or have something or to be receptive and not kind of be deluded and think that, um, you know, that, oh, I'm just magically going to be taken care of here and I just have to settle back and everything will be okay. Or not to be aversive, be receptive because we there's something we don't want to look at and work with about ourselves, work through and... Um, and we don't, we're kind of aversive to making effort. And, and, um, and so this idea of being free of clinging, of forcefulness, of straining, of, um, of complacency, of giving up or being too passive, <clears throat> there's all these ways in which how we are is important. And so when we meditate, it's important to kind of have one eye on how and the simplest way to do that, so it's not a complicated analysis, is to be with awareness without any stress. To not feel any stress in how we're being aware. And, um, and to be alert to that. And if we're alert to that, then paradoxically, maybe ironically, uh, awareness gets heightened because the, the strong effort to have no stress 
protects that strong effort from becoming stressful too. And so it's kind of like a fascinating kind of balance of finding that place. So to sit upright or to sit, meditate in a posture that maybe is, allows for a balance to, between being active and being receptive. And to begin by being active, to actively take a few long, slow, deep breaths, intentionally to establish your awareness here in this body, in this mind, And intentionally, as you exhale, to relax, release the holdings of the body. And then to let the breathing return to normal. And Apply your attention by scanning your body and really feel that you're engaged in your awareness to be aware of places in your body where there might be holding tension that you can relax. And to and maybe on the exhale to soften, relax the muscles of the face. The muscles of the shoulders. Maybe a releasing that's helped by feeling the weight of the arms, the gentle pull that they provide the shoulders. And to soften in the chest or to open in the chest Perhaps relaxing any way that we feel guarded in the area around the heart. Letting the heart be itself, whatever is there. And softening the belly. Sometimes relaxing and softening a belly can be a movement of trust because relaxing the belly makes us feel a little bit more vulnerable or tender. To trust it's okay for these minutes to soften and relax. And then to actively open the attention, the awareness, to receive the experience of body breathing. And the body breathes itself. And as if you're opening a door to allow the breeze from outside to blow into your home, gentle, refreshing breeze. Open the door of awareness to receive 
the expansion and contractions, the coming and going, the tingling and the warmth and coolness of the body breathing. Maybe uh, the awareness that is in the body itself. So not so much in the control tower, watching the breath, <clears throat> but rather the awareness of sensations. How, how the sensations of the chest, the belly, the nostrils are stimulated with the in-breath and the out-breath. the inhaling and exhaling. Maybe as if awareness is the body and the inhaling and exhaling are like the waves that the sand receives as the waves wash across the sandy shore. advancing and receding, the waves of breathing wash across the body, being aware. And if being receptive in this way is doesn't help keep you in the present moment, then you might more actively imagine you're putting down roots into the soil of the body breathing and awareness is planted or anchored, a little bit more active gently, relaxedly active. A little bit of discipline, a little bit of strength of attention to stay there with the in-breaths and the out-breaths, but with no strain. Instead of strain, a kind of strength or gentle resolve stay with the breathing. Letting go of thoughts as you exhale. and letting go into either being receptive or let go into being actively rooted in the breathing.
I try being receptive of the inhale and actively riding out the exhale. Letting the thinking mind become quieter. So there's more intimacy with the breathing. And then as we come to the end of the sitting, bringing to mind the idea, image of a swinging door that can swing sometimes outward, sometimes inward, swinging back and forth. So our life swings between giving and receiving which each in-breath we're receiving, and the exhale we're giving carbon dioxide and out back to the plants that give us oxygen that we breathe in again. In all kinds of ways, we offer our attention to people and receive attention from others. We receive so much from the world. Our whole life is dependent on receiving sustenance, breath and water and food. 
and also giving. Giving back. And in this play of giving and receiving, that's the medium, that's the means by which we can benefit the world. That's how we can make a difference. We can receive and we can give in ways that support all beings. And may it be that our giving and receiving of attention and meditation, may it be in our letting go of selfishness, self-preoccupation, allows us to live delightfully in this and compassionately in the world of giving and receiving. And may it be that in doing so, that we live for the welfare and happiness of all beings. And in the world of giving and receiving, the well-being of others is as important for us personally as our own well-being and vice versa. May we live for the welfare and happiness of all beings. May all beings be happy. May all beings be safe. And may all beings be free. <laughs>